good, YouTube? It's your boy, Demonte the Trucker. We back. We had a, just a simple driving hook with 34 pieces of pipe. Going about three and a half hours away. We currently at the place, at the cosine, waiting for an escort to come to take me through this plant. Outside Lake Charles area. So much go on with these plants. Gotta make sure everything right. All your paperwork straight. You gotta do that anyway for your own good. And make sure y'all have a, like a little organizer folder for what y'all can put y'all bill of ladings in. Cause you never know if you dispatch a, a company might call you and ask for a, a paperwork that didn't go all the way through and uh, when you scan it in. We can scan it on our phone though. So the company got an app. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name of this this place. It's like sad soul or something like that. Say so. It's a chemical plant. So. Hold on one second, you two. Let me go run in here. Came here to look for the purchase order number for the to get to the receiving crew, I'll be right back.
back, people. Yeah, that's escort's still not here. I ain't worried about it, though. It is what it is. Can't be out here stressing over anything. You're going to go crazy. Over everything, I mean. Go crazy, I Like I said, I was bringing the, uh, the shipping manifest to the receiving, uh, the receiving office. Just going through all the paperwork, make sure it's all there. Yeah, that's what I will find something to do. Get back with y'all, YouTube, once the escort come. Guess what, YouTube? The escort has arrived. Yeah. yeah. We'll go to the same place. All right. What you know? Seems like I got a familiar face. You remember me? I dropped, I dropped here last week sometime. Sorry, YouTube. That's my uh, my phone mount thing. I'm gonna have to turn it the other way. But you see, I can't turn it right now. Basically, I'm just giving y'all what it's like. Just in case y'all want to come into trucking. I'm not saying y'all have to come into trucking. But just in case you want to come into trucking, this is what you're going to have to go through. It's going to be sometimes. It's going to be sometimes you're going to wait for hours upon hours. I ain't wait that long. They cool people. They real cool, man. That's the thing I like about Flatbed. The shippers and receivers be real nice, real cool to you. I heard some things about Reefer, but I'm not Reefer, so I can't personally give you my opinion on Reefer. But I'm pretty sure there's some people out there that already touched on how they treat you in the Reefer. Shippers and receivers. But yeah, I knew where to go, but uh, 
on the bill of lading and everything, it says go to the warehouse first and check yourself in. I probably could have just went back there and they would have probably uh, checked me in. But, you know, you gotta follow directions. Don't be out here doing your own thing. I mean, of course, if you were on out, but still, you can't do your own thing at the shippers and receivers. Just follow directions. If you don't know where you're going, stop somewhere, call. Because most of the time, in Flatbed, they have numbers you can call. For uh, delivery directions, they have numbers you can call. I gotta go. But yeah, people. You know what it is. We just grinding and getting it. Just another day. Living life, man. Can't complain. You gonna have your ups and downs. That's what anything do. All you, all you can do is change your perspective on things. Live your best life, man. They got people wishing they could live free and make the type of money we have the opportunity of making. Have fun, have fun, man, have fun. Don't go through life, pal. It's all right, it's all right. Gonna be all right. Gonna be all right. I know that phone mom gonna be aggravated. But it's the group. I ain't have time to adjust it. Pretty sure they gonna live unload me though. But I know for sure you can't be on your phone. So. Especially at these plants, they kind of particular. Which I they have a reason for. Y'all see that? That's a master plant right there. People. Master plan. And when you coming into these shippers or receivers, make sure y'all put y'all four ways on. And take your time, man. You don't have an accident in here. Cause these places be having a lot go on. Well, where I'm going is basically like tents separated from all this main stuff.
I also want to touch base on make sure y'all doing y'all load check every 150 miles or three hours, whatever one come first or whatever your company recommend. Make sure y'all doing it, man. Sometimes I be driving down the road, be saying flatbed. You got to get on the CB and tell them your load look like it's shifted, your straps are loose. Just get out and check it, man. Hey, I don't take nothing for like number like 15. Nah, I won't say. I say 15. Not even 15 minutes. Take like five minutes. Right now, he opening the gate. Yeah, you too. I'm gonna pull in here, park it, and I'm gonna get back to y'all once I finish everything. Since I can't record up in here. Like I say, once y'all come in east, take y'all time, man. Take your time. Watch your mirrors. Watch your surroundings. Like right now, they got that gate. I might hit the gate a little bit. Let me go move that gate real quick. I ain't hit it. The wind blew it. a holder for the fence so the wind blew it I saw it before when I stopped but right now since it's gonna blow back open I'm gonna put it back against the trailer put it back against the trailer and proceed I'm gonna back up a little bit just proceed slowly I ain't gonna tear it off In that situation, just use your judgment. If you know it's gonna blow back, just put the gate against the trailer and just proceed slowly. Cause it's just gonna slide down the trailer, ain't no biggie. Just take your time. Yeah, you too. I'm going to get back to y'all. YouTube, we back, baby. Everything finished. I'm really not supposed to record this, so I'm going to get a good glimpse of it. Now we basically just waiting on a, a escort to get out of it, out the plant. So you got to make sure you got an escort coming in and leaving out. But it ain't taking long at all. About 30 minutes. Enough for me to take my 30 minute break. And I was just waiting on the escort. Sipping on some water. But now all we gotta do is just bag, bag straight up and leave out the gate. But they gauges don't have holders in the wind blowing, so just gotta be mindful of leaving out. Probably gonna do the same thing, sling back. But it'll be alright. But I touch bases with y'all in a little bit. Once he escort me out, I'm about to head to the truck stop, grab something to eat, fuel up, then head back. 
Y'all stay up.